It's just amazing to see how much life this one billabong can hold. Everywhere you look, something is moving. Before we go hunting, first we have to get this boat out. And yeah, that ain't working. What about those, those little max tracks? They're here, mate. All right. Take two. All right, where you go? Tell you that. Yeah, that worked a treat. Hey, you didn't get too much mud in the boat. It's all good. Give him that little bit of extra traction. That work. That worked good, mate. Good. Well, that worked a treat. <laughs> Now the other thing you'll notice with these little max tracks as well, they all lock into themselves, so they all sort of seat in nicely, except for the base one there. That one there you put down first, because I actually, this one here, you see that grid pattern? See the difference between the two? This is actually used as a jack base, or a, um, so a high lift jack or a bottle jack base. See that? It's a lot stronger, doesn't flex as, flex as much. We whack that done down first. And then the other three are just normal ones with a normal base on them. And then attach them here to the roof. Ready for another day. No doubt about it, it's better than having the big full size ones because it is only a small buggy compared to a big four wheel drive. So the little mini ones, they do come in handy especially mounted up here on top of the roof, because you never know when you're gonna need them to get out of a sticky little situation like that. Next time, the team heads for the coast. The beach, I can see it. Beautiful. But there's a bit of carnage on the way out. Oh my God, you're not gonna be happy with the outcome of that. What? And traditional owner Dave takes the team to some of his special spots. Quite often when Jace hooks a big fish and he gets tired, he lets me pull it in for him. <laughs> when does that happen? Join them on the adventure. <laughs>